Why NumPy? Throughout this section, we're going to explore this popular library called NumPy, which are very similar to Python lists. It's one of the most used and popular libraries when it comes to data science and machine learning. But I want to ask you, why do we need this? Don't we have Python lists? Why is NumPy so popular and a must-use tool for machine learning? There are two main reasons why we want to use NumPy for our problems. You see, under the hood, many functionalities that NumPy offers us are actually written in C, a programming language that is really, really fast. If we used Python list, it would actually be a lot slower to do some of the things that we're about to do. So NumPy operations on arrays and lists are a lot faster than performing the same operations in Python. And as you'll find out, when it comes to machine learning, we do a lot of computation. We do a lot of processing. And that's why GPUs or graphical processing units are used because so many calculations need to happen. So we need to have any possible performance advantage we can, which NumPy offers. The second reason we want to use something like NumPy is that when it comes to machine learning, well, machines usually only understand ones and zeros. And things like numbers, which can be contained in NumPy, are really easy for machines to understand versus something more complicated. For example, an image can be represented in numbers, where a number represents the color of a pixel. And we'll see later on in the course where we try and convert different fields, different attributes into numbers. For example, if a patient has heart disease, instead of yes or no, we convert it to one or zero. This idea of converting data into something that a machine can understand, like numbers, like binary, like ones and zero, allows us to make machines learn. That's how machines learn. Machines learn by performing multiple operations. And by storing this information in an array like NumPy is a great way for us to represent that data from what humans can understand to what computers can understand. But you'll see that as we progress more and more through the course. For now, let's get started.